Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss variables in Python. Before start the today's video, just try to recall what have we discussed in lecture six. What is IDE? What are the popular IDEs for Python? How to install Anaconda Navigator? How to execute Python programs using Jupyter Notebook? What is Google Colab? How to execute Python programs using Google Colab? After watching this video, you will be able to know identifiers, rules for constructing the identifiers, variables in other languages, and variables in the Python. Let us start with the topic identifier. An identifier is a name in Python programs. That name may be a class name or function name or any module name or variable name also identifier is used to refer the object in the program here we are going to assign some values those values are treated as objects in this python to refer that objects we are giving some name these identifier names are user defined user can give any name depending on the requirement but we need to follow some rules Example, number one assignment 20. Here number one is a variable. Actually, this is an identifier. To identify the memory location, we are giving some name that is nothing but variable. In this number one is an identifier. 20 is a value what we are assigning to that identifier or a variable. Then how to construct the identifier? First rule is your identifier name can contain both numbers and letters and the symbol only underscore is allowed nothing but if you want to frame the identifier name you can use a to z capital letters a to z lowercase letters a to z digits 0 to 9 and underscore only these are allowed you are not allowed to use any special characters other than underscore see the example number one is a valid because what we are using letters digits as per these rules and see the second example dollar symbol number this is invalid because special symbols are not allowed except underscore here we are using dollar symbol that is invalid next rule is an identifier name can begin with a letter or an underscore only should not start with the digit See the example, my identifier name is one number. This is invalid because it started with digit. You should not start with a digit. Next rule, an identifier name in Python is case sensitive. Case sensitive means uppercase letter and lowercase letters treated as different. Suppose if you take a letter A in uppercase letter is completely different from the lowercase a in any programming language probably it is the common rule i have three variable names three identifiers number those three are number only but in first identifier number n is capital letter um are lowercase letters and in the second variable name number all are in the capital letters in the third n u are lowercase letters m is a capital letter even though the word NUM is same, but we are using different casings. This is what case is sensitive. The Python treats these three are completely different. The human may consider these three are same, but Python or any programming language consider these three are completely different. That is the meaning of identifiers are case sensitive. Next rule, we cannot use reserved words are keywords as identifiers we will cover about the keywords in the later sessions but as of now just remember you are not supposed to use keyword names or reserved word names as an identifiers example if is a keyword in python if is a keyword but i am trying to use that keyword if as an identifier as a variable name this is invalid because you should not use any keyword as an identifier there is no limit for the length of the python identifiers you can take any length of the identifier 
but it is suggestible to you take the short name and meaningful name what is variable generally a variable is a name to the memory location and that is used to store the data in c c++ and java and many other languages variable is imagined as in a container or a box in which we can store the values we are creating some memory location to that we are giving some name for easy identification in that we can store the values memory is nothing but just like a container in that we can store the values int space variable name number 1 assignment 10 now if you write this statement what happens in c or c++ java first a memory cell will be allocated to your program after that the value 10 will be stored in that memory the value what you assign that will be stored in that memory for the easy identification of this memory location we are giving some name that is an identifier that is a variable the variable name is number 1 so if we write number 1 assignment 20 then what happens so in the previous slide we have stored the value 10 in the number 1 now what i am writing number 1 assignment 20 i want to change the value of that variable number 1 so previously a cell is allotted and the value stored in that is 10 and the name of that cell is number 1 right so now when you execute this statement number 1 assignment 20 the old value 10 will be overridden with the new value 20 now the value in number 1 cell is 20 not 10 if we write int number 2 assignment number 1 then what happens i want to assign what was the value we have in the number 1 i want to assign the same value to the newly created variable number 2 now when you execute this statement int number 2 assignment number 1 a new cell will be allocated again and we are giving the name to that newly allocated memory cell number 2 and the value we are assigning is the value of number 1 then what is the value of number 1 20 so in the number 2 cell also the value available is 20 now what you need to understand from this is even though we are maintaining the same value 20 20 in two different locations c c++ java maintaining two different memory locations in number 1 cell we have 20 in the number 2 that is different cell again we have the 20 now let us try to implement the same thing in the python try to understand the difference how can we define the word variable in the python python variable is a name that is used to refer to the memory location this is important part the variable is used to refer to the memory location in c c++ java variable is used to store the values but here that is not correct here we are not storing the values in the variables variable is used to refer to the memory location it is giving the reference to the memory location where the actual value is that is the major difference for the better understanding see this example if we write number 1 assignment 10 in the python then the value or object 10 is created here the value 10 is also called as an object so we will discuss about the objects in detail in the later videos but as of now just remember object is nothing but which has a physical existence okay these values integer values float values string values are considered as objects in the python uh, what is our statement number 1 assignment 10 first the value 10 is created number 1 the name number 1 will be created then a reference will be created from number 1 to 10 now the number 1 is referring to the value 10 this is how the variables concept implemented in python if we write number 1 assignment 20 in the previous slide what we have written number 1 assignment 10 now as of now in the number 1 we have the value 10 now i want to write the statement number 1 assignment 20 then first the new object or new value 20 will be created first then the 20 will be referenced by number 1 now because we have written the statement number 1 assignment 20 now the value 10 is 
unreferenced so that will be removed from the memory when we are assigning one variable value to the another variable value then how it will be in the python see my statement is number 2 assignment number 1 first we have the value 20 in the number 1 right in the previous slide we have taken the value 20 into the number 1 now we created a new variable number 2 what is the value referenced by the number 1 the same value will be also referenced by the number 2 see this image first 20 is being referenced by the number 1 after writing the statement number 2 assignment number 1 same object will be referenced by the number 2 also if you compare in C, C++, Java, two separate memory locations are maintained even though the value is same. But coming to the Python, only one memory is maintained that one value is referenced by the two variables. This is how Python uses memory efficiently. This is very important point. Now let us see this practically. In the last video, we have seen how to install Anaconda Navigator, how to work with the Jupyter Notebook. If you haven't watched, please watch that and continue this, then only it will be easy to understand. Now, let us try to execute points what we have discussed as of now. See, first we started our discussion with the identifiers. Then one of the rules we discussed to frame the identifier is, we must use a to Z that is lowercase letters, uppercase letters, 0 to 9 and underscore only. Suppose if I write a variable name number 1 assignment 10 and I want to print that value. To execute this, click on the run, otherwise you can use the shortcut shift enter. After executing this, you will get the output 10 because there is no error in that. Next, I am creating a variable or identifier with the name dollar number assignment 20. Now try to execute this, you will get an error. because dollar is not allowed to frame the identifier or variable. Next rule is an identifier name in python is case sensitive. Let us try to prove that. So here I am taking three variables number 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 but in the first one capital N, in the second one all are the capital letters, in the third identifier or third variable name capital U capital M I am using. Then try to execute this we will get the values. This will be executed without any errors. So here the python treats all these three are completely different because python is a case sensitive programming language. Next rule is we cannot use reserved words as an identifier or we cannot use keywords as an identifier. So I am writing if assignment 20. In this case if is my variable name. Let us try to execute this you will get an error because if he is actually a keyword, it is a reserved word, but you are trying to use reserved word as an identifier, as a variable name. It is invalid. That is the reason you are getting the error. Next rule, there is no limit for the length of the python identifier. Let me take one identifier name is this one, lengthy one. The amount at Ramu and Raju is 10,000. Okay, this is my variable name. I want to store an integer value, a number. Then I want to print that. Okay, print that variable name. Just try to execute this. You will get the value 10,000 without any error because you can take any length of the identifier. But that this is not suggestible because if you take like this, there is chance of the mistakes of the spells and not at all it is recommended to you. Next concept we discussed variables in Python. In Python, we have so many predefined functions. In that one is id id is one of the predefined function which is used to know the address of an object. So theoretically we have discussed this just now. When we write number one assignment 10, the 10 the object or the value 10 will be referenced by the number one. Then I want to print the address of this object. Okay, This is referenced by the number one. Now. So I want to print the address of this one. For that we need to use id id of number 1 means what is the address referenced by the number 1. If you execute this, at this time, this is the memory location of the value 10. 
in this case number 1 is giving the reference to the another value 20 just try to execute this now observe this is the different address and this is again different address because 10 has a different memory location 20 is stored in a different memory location even though the variable name is same but reference is different in this case number 1 is giving the reference to 20 the 20 has a different memory location then next case same value will being referenced by the two different variables number 1 and number 2 for that as per our discussion number 1 is assignment to the number 2 I want to print the addresses of number 1 and number 2 I am trying to execute this same address which value is being referenced by the number 1 that value address will be printed then coming to this statement which is being referenced by the number 2 that value address will be printed but in this case in both case those two are giving the reference to the same value 20 that is the reason why we are getting the same value same memory location next some more important pants related to the variables for every different objects a new memory will be allocated multiple objects are being referenced by the multiple names here i am taking different values and different variable names so already what i said every time whenever you are creating the new objects new values for that a memory will be allocated separately so let us try to execute this one we are getting completely different memory locations because the memory location of 10 is different and when you creating 20 again a new memory will be allocated for that when you creating the value 30 again a separate memory will be allocated for that next point python allows you in the single line we can assign multiple values to the multiple variables but you should follow the same order in this case the 10 will be assigned to the number 1 20 will be assigned to the number 2 if you change the order that will give the different meaning let us try to execute this output of this program is 10 20 30 you can assign the same value to the multiple variables in single line also x assignment y assignment z assignment 20 x y z are the variables for those three variables i want to assign the same value 20 let us try to execute this yes you will get the output 20 20 20 this is valid then check your knowledge what you learned from this video what is an identifier what are the rules we have to follow while framing the identifier names is there any difference of variables of other languages and variables in python can we use keyword as an identifier how python handles the memory efficiently if you feel this video is useful to you please subscribe the channel watch and share the videos thank you